Item number, SCP-7551, Level 4 Secret, Containment Class, Euclid, Disruption Class, Eki, Risk Class, Notice, Special Containment Procedures. All personnel files are to be screened on a quarterly basis by an AI located within Exclusion Site 1, designated Jari. All personnel that Jari assigns a 37% match or higher are to be designated as SCP-7551-B instances. All instances of SCP-7551-B are to be placed under constant discrete observation. SCP-7551-B instances that initiate a convergence scenario are to be detained immediately. Description. SCP-7551 is the designation given to former department head Anna Duclof. SCP-7551 was recruited into the Foundation directly out of college at the age of 18 on June 15, 2019. SCP-7551's excessive qualifications in and mastery of the field of pataphysics, her abnormally perfect research, and the practical application of her research saw her promoted to researcher on September 7, 2020. The next year, SCP-7551 was promoted to senior researcher on March 22, 2021. Two years later, SCP-7551 was promoted to department head on January 25, 2023. Exclusion site archives confirm that an investigation into SCP-7551's promotions was begun in late 2022, but was subsequently dropped and all relevant files disappeared from the Foundation's records. SCP-7551-EX is the designation of the individual who instigated this investigation. SCP-7551-EX's name has been expunged from all records, including those of the exclusion site. This was achieved through a highly aggressive mimetic effect related to the individual's name. An investigation was begun on June 26, 2023 by the Anti-Memetics Department to neutralize the meme and discover the identity of SCP-7551-EX. Personnel File, A. Duclof 7551 Name, Dr. Anna Duclof. Security Clearance Level, 4. Occupation, Head of the Pataphysics Department. Profile, Anna Duclof passed every class from preschool to 10th grade with a perfect GPA of 4.0. Because of this, she was admitted into college early, where she continued to outperform her classmates. Dr. Duclof was recruited directly into the Foundation out of her sophomore year at the age of 18. Dr. Duclof had a fascination with science, philosophy, and theoretical physics from second grade on, being especially interested in the concept of the reality that she resided in being a written story. She began recognizing patterns in reality that she attributed to writing tropes at a young age. Despite the ridicule this earned her, her performance in school was never impacted, and because of this interest and talent, she was placed into the pataphysics department as a junior researcher as soon as she was recruited. Dr. Duclof quickly climbed the ranks of the pataphysics department, becoming the department head within under six years. Incident Report, June 5th, 2023. Foundation Site 11, Department of Pataphysics, Serious Incident Report, June 5th, 2023. Subjects, Department Head Anna Duclof, Terminated. Unidentified Human, Terminated. Anonymous Security Officer, in questioning. Location, Pataphysics Monitoring Laboratory 3C, Site 11, Sector 6. Details, at 9.43 GMT4, Subject 1, Anna Duclof, was identified on camera transporting a large amount of monitoring equipment out of the Pataphysics Monitoring Laboratory 3C. Subject 1 was questioned by a security officer, Subject 3, on location, and she claimed she was making room for an experiment. Despite numerous security and safety protocol breaches apparent in leaving expensive, sensitive, and large pieces of equipment lining the halls outside the location, blocking doorways and exposing the equipment to damages, Subject 3 abruptly agreed and walked away. 
At 1301 GMT4, Subject 1 had numerous pieces of equipment moved out of storage and into the location. A full inventory of this equipment is being salvaged from surviving records and evidence at the location. This inventory is ongoing. At 1421 GMT4, an extreme power usage increase in the pataphysics department was noted by Technical. At 1459 GMT4, an explosive detonation occurred in Paraphysics Monitoring Laboratory 3C. This detonation caused critical damage to Site 11 Sector 6, destroying the entire pataphysics department and causing significant damages to nearby facilities. 106 fatalities occurred as a result of the incident, with an additional 23 casualties at the end of the affected zone expected to make full recoveries. Subject 1, Anna Duclof, was one of these casualties. An additional corpse, Subject 2, was also recovered. Security footage indicated Kate's Subject 1 was alone in the room prior to the incident. The identity of Subject 2 is under investigation. Causes While the cause of the incident is still under investigation, preliminary examinations of the equipment and material present in the location should not have been capable of yielding this outcome. No high ordnance explosives were present at the location, nor could any have been procured by Subject 1. Surviving equipment on location identified residual waves indicating memetic activity in the location. Actions June 6, 2023 The investigation has been halted until the memetics department can secure the location and ensure no lingering memetic effects are present. All personnel who were exposed to the site have been quarantined and will undergo a thorough medical check. June 9, 2023 Memetics Department investigation has determined that no lingering memetic effects are present. Their investigation yielded considerable data indicating a, quote, incalculable but very fucking high number of memetic kill agents manufactured by the Foundation were all triggered within Pataphysics Monitoring Laboratory 3C, indicating this may have been the cause for the detonation. June 21, 2023 Standard monthly systematic cross-referencing of site files with exclusion site archives reported multiple discrepancies relevant to Dr. Duclof. Why these discrepancies weren't noted previously, given they all date to around the end of last year, is undetermined. Addendum SCP-7551-1 on July 12, 2023, the memetics department successfully broke the memetic effect on SCP-7551-EX's files. SCP-7551-EX's identity and the contents of his investigation report into SCP-7551 remain expunged, but several attached documents were made accessible. Recovered Log Entry Dr. Anna Duclof Hello. If you're reading this, Sorry. I've rewritten this a few times. I'm not really sure how to write this without everyone thinking I'm fucking insane like they always have. But then, that minor adversity that really had no impact on my development besides flavor text was engineered as character development. Since if you're reading this, I'm dead, maybe now you'll all be able to fucking believe me. <sighs> My name is Anna Duclof. I passed every class from preschool to 10th grade with a perfect GPA of 4.0, despite preschool and kindergarten not using the GPA system. I was admitted early into college, got recruited at a ridiculously young age of 18, and within five years I rose to be the department head of the pataphysics department. Reading that now, you might realize, if you hadn't already, that all of this is incredibly improbable and absurd. God, I hope you noticed before, for the Foundation's sake, so more like me don't slip through the cracks. The reason I managed all of this is because I'm a self-insert. I was written to be the best, the end-all be-all of pataphysics understanding. A prodigy. A tool. Fuck, I even started thinking about the world like it was a book when I was in fucking second grade. I should have been institutionalized then and there. I wasn't though. Because I was right, and because my author didn't care about consistency or logic. They just needed me to be the best. They needed me to be their perfect Mary Sue puppet, waltzing through the foundation and learning more. Becoming more perfect. I knew about them. And they knew that I knew as well. I was written to be the pinnacle of pataphysics. How could I not know about my own fucking author? 
part of the plan. I don't know what she was like. I can surmise, based off some cliches that manifested in my life, overperformed in middle school, gifted child syndrome, outcast, whatever it really was, she wanted an escape. The plan is complicated and held together by very flimsy logic. If you're reading this, then by some stroke of fate or contrivance, it worked and we're both dead. Me and my author, dead. She wants to leave the elevated reality of the authors, to step down into our own. I won't go into the technical terms because in my extremely overqualified opinion, it shouldn't fucking work. The properties of our reality don't propagate upwards. It's why we failed, time and time again, to engineer a mimetic kill agent that could affect our authors. We already barely have free will, depending on your interpretation of my department's research. But as a self-insert, I have dramatically less than others. My life, my story, has been railroaded to this moment. I'm a tool used by a careless author to serve their own self-aggrandizing ambition. Nothing I've done matters, really. Nothing she's done matters either. I can't stop what she'll make me do. But I know something she doesn't. Something I've managed to keep hidden from her. Something she couldn't realize because she offloaded all the need to think and be fucking intelligent onto me. Just because the mimetic kill agents couldn't affect her in the elevated reality doesn't mean they ever left her head. If this works, if she manages to descend into this reality, we're both extremely dead. Addendum SCP-7551-2 SCP-7551 has been reclassified from neutralized to Euclid until such a time that the manifestation of SCP-7551-B instances can be permanently halted. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.